warning this is for people with intense pixel peeping syndrome this is a low light comparison between the GH5S and GH5M2 what you need is one of those TVs that allow you to zoom ideally 200% in certain areas of the frame like the one that are coming in red now on the benches on the tables there you can see temporal noise reduction or if there is temporal noise in the sky you can see if there is any remaining tones which means the highlights are still preserved and there is some dynamic range left and in these other areas you will see most of the action and the movement happening for your comparison like for example people walking starting at ISO 1250 because before that it wasn't really meaningful I can see that the GH5S in low gain area actually perform worse than the GH5M2 which does not have a dual gain, a dual native ISO mechanism. The light dropped suddenly so I could not record anything at ISO 1600. At ISO 2000 I can see that the GH5M2 is still holding up reasonably well but the GH5S provides a superior image quality in my opinion. I was therefore expecting that as ISO was going up the GH5S will start to show a bigger gap to the GH5 Mark II however at ISO 2500 it looks like the cameras are performing almost identically with just a little edge to the GH5S when the cameras both hit ISO 3200 there was just a hair between them in terms of image quality and this was very surprising for me I cannot understand why this is the case. It may be that the uh, GH5 Mark II has got a digital gain as opposed to an old gain. This is totally unclear to me. However, the image quality is comparable. More strange things continue to happen later with the GH5 Mark II holding on an ISO 3200 and the GH5S requiring ISO 4000 for the same exposure. Again, the gap in image quality is almost nothing at this stage. At this point, the cameras don't match exposure anymore. The GH5 Mark II is at ISO 4000 and the GH5S at ISO 5000 for the same exposure. The image quality is perhaps a little bit in favor of the GH5S, but there's really a major difference between them. Eventually, also the GH5 Mark II hit ISO 5000. And at this point, I can see that the GH5S is definitely doing better at this high level of ISO with details still reasonably well preserved and I would say this is the highest you can go with this camera. The surprise weren't finished as when the GH5 Mark II hits ISO 6400 signal noise ratio seems to improve again and there is less difference with the GH5S however I would not say that any of the two cameras produce acceptable image quality although the GH5S still retains some usable detail. I tried to perform some noise reduction on the file of the GH5S, but I have to say they did not improve materially. It looks like the camera already has some strong temporal noise reduction in place. The GH5 Mark II instead benefits from such procedures, and this clip produced at ISO 5000 gives you an idea of what you can achieve with a software such as Neat Video.